We're actually going to start out by showing you how exactly how this chase ended. This is the tire from that stolen pickup truck. Once again, the driver of this station wagon was killed. His wife at last check was in critical condition. And remarkably, there are two children who are strapped in those safety seats in the back. They're going to be okay. Here at the National Cemetery, Smith will rest forever alongside heroes of the past, including his grandfather, a veteran of World War II. One bear cost $1,200. Why so much? Each one takes four days to make. So, Kanande Bennett vanished, her body never found. Her parents arrested and charged with murder. That was nearly three years ago. So, why no trial yet? Here again is Justin Smith. I'm not at liberty to discuss those type of things. Okay. This so is something between lawyers trying to negotiate pleas, how we're going to try things like that. But when you have two alleged um, killers on the Thanks, at their home, don't you think the public deserves to know Absolutely. when they're going to go to trial? That little girl deserves to be found, and we need we need a good case to prosecute. Absolutely, and that's what we're going to do. And well, when we're it's it's been two and a half years since they've been arrested. I understand how long it's been since it's been arrested, and you've got to make sure that you have your ducks in a row. This is the only the third nobody case that's ever been tried in South Carolina. One of the elements we have to prove is she is dead. We don't have a body right now. That is a difficult part of, the, of a case. It's the reason they don't prosecute them a whole lot. So right now you're I, not able to prove that, that the child is I'm dead. Not, I'm not going to tell you what I can prove or what I can prove. I'm telling you that one of the elements I have to prove is that child is deceased. Time helps us in proving that. Although time may help the prosecution, it leaves McCullough waiting. Her attorney says with no options. So if she comes up and says, oh, well, you know, we need to be looking over here, then people say, oh, well, you know, she must know where the kid is. And on the other hand, if she doesn't do anything, they say, oh, we know she must not be concerned. She, there is no win for her in this situation, especially as long as these criminal charges are pending. Please bring my child home. See, that before four years old. Where in the world will you want my child? Just as she did when I interviewed her nearly three years ago. McCullough still maintains her innocence. An accused killer with a future just as much a mystery as her daughter's disappearance. In Conway, South Carolina, Justin Smith, WECT, News 6. Construction continues on Chadburn's new town hall as Nathan Moore campaigns to become its new mayor. We're building the basis for something great, but you've got to crawl before we can even begin to walk. Moore has a list of priorities at the top cleaning up downtown. See, this breeds negative behavior. So we've got to eliminate the conducive negatives and take care of the things that are truly positive in our town. Although he has ambitious plans, Moore is a political newcomer, known best to locals as Nene the Clown. Once this baby powder goes on, your makeup won't come off. While working with Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, he learned more than just how to clown around. The biggest thing they taught us is how to relate to people and what makes people really tick. And not only what makes them smile, but also what makes them unhappy. Moore hopes to make Chadburn residents happy, although he has big shoes to fill, replacing the town's mayor of 15 years. Just as he brings people together as a clown, Moore hopes to do the same as mayor. It's not that I'm trying to cover up who I am. If anything, it's just giving you one voice. Suddenly now, I'm not black or white or Indian. I'm a clown. So what better way to unify people? Although it's a tough task, Moore's used to juggling demands. You constantly have to keep something constantly moving. For people in a town, you have to constantly be listening. Sometimes it's not people want things done. Sometimes they just want to be heard. In addition to an open ear, if elected, Nathan Moore is likely to lend a big smile. In Chadburn, Justin Smith, WECT News 6.